Hey guys, Mike McCain here. I uh, just put together a little video me and my wife did for the group RV Happiness to show you how we organize our RV and uh, maybe you get some good tips out of it or maybe you have better ideas to let us know. Um, this is where we keep our games so that we don't have to climb in and out of the camper to get them, put them in this little drawer. These little rugs come from Walmart, cheap. Fold them in half, they fit perfect on your steps. And this is another rug that I just got at Walmart. Um, folds in half, easy to wash. I put a new one of these little shelf liner things, keeps it from sliding around so much. But we were having a little trouble with the carpet wearing from Michael getting in and out and getting gas or whatever, so I decided to put that there and help save the carpet. So, so this is my seat, of course, and I keep a little basket over here. Uh, things to entertain myself with if it's a long trip, adult coloring book, uh, magazines, whatever, hand sanitizer, things like that. Um, this folds out and it's a computer desk with storage. It has places to, um, electrical outlets, place to charge your laptop. We keep an atlas in here, um, composition book for notes or whatever. Fan. Um, and I keep a notebook or a log of um, the trips we take, uh, the campgrounds we stay in, uh, gas, food, over how much our whole trip will cost. And I just keep that all in here, tucked away. Um, down here, I keep this little rug because... It's simple just to fold it up here and then I can prop my feet up here as we're going down the road. And I also keep a, a little stool here because these seats are kind of high and it just doesn't cut circulation off of your legs, things like that. So this is the sofa that lets out into a bed and we have a crate that we, waffle crate thing we put on top of it because my mother sleeps here when she goes with us and there's a seam so that kind of helps with that. Um, I put... Our remotes in this little little box because that way we can keep up with them and another little shelf liner that keeps it from rolling around um, this is just a little uh, drawer thing we keep nail clippers things like that that we have to have you know we don't have to go digging around for them um, when we sit here it was kind of uncomfortable to watch TV so I got these little stools and I put the little velcro like non-slip things on the bottom so they don't slide around and we've already tested everything this year we drove down the road and nothing nothing slid around so I did really good repacking and the reason I had to repack is because we took our um, motor home for a recall on the shower door and it um, took them three months to get it back to us and when we got it back we had little mice that had uh, decided to make it their home so I had to take everything out wash it wash out everything down and put it all back so I did pretty well repacking because when we took it on a test drive nothing fell or rattled so that was great so there's storage under here under the sofa and let's see we keep our um, what do you call that snorkeling I almost said scuba diving well you're scuba diving some of it um, we keep our toilet paper and our paper towels, and it all stays right here under the sofa. So when we need any, we just go under there and get it. I was saying we had mice, so I had to take everything out. And I just went ahead and threw away what we had because you never know where they've been. But I keep um, paper cups or plastic cups and plates, and I decided to use the little storage containers. I had the lid, so maybe it would keep them out. Um, then this is our plate. And I just put them in here. Um, here are the little plastic plates for when we want to use real dishes, which is not a whole lot, but in case we do. So I just take them out, it's easy. Um, then over here, I have straws and paper plates. And this was actually to store buns in. And I thought, uh oh, I can't, there we go. That's a good way to keep our napkins. Um, these are little containers from Walmart. It's little canister sets. And 
what I did was just put forks and knives and spoons in those and that way they stay closed up also. And everything just slides back in. Really easy. Little straws. That was a cracker container there. Um, we have one little compartment underneath the table and I keep a tray that I take outside and up in there is my crock pot and things like that. A few games that I keep under there. So this is our third camper, first RV, third camper and it's a 2016 uh, Thor Motor Coach Ace, I think is what it is. But anyway, one of the reasons I liked it, you know, the counter space. So, which is great. Um, I a little shelf liner, little pad I got at Walmart. Um, anyway, I set my coffee pot and my paper towels. This is a heavy duty kind of paper towel holder. The bottom of it is very heavy, which keeps it from going anywhere. Uh, with this under it, we ride down the road with it sitting right there and it never moves. So, let's see, under here. So, Michael. Um, it's a bad habit of putting everything right here, keys and everything, so I put this little bowl here so they catch all of his crap stuff, excuse me. So anyway, um, under here I keep baking sheets and these little things to go on the barbecue grill, things like that. These tongs for cooking, that's nice to have to boil water, that's what I keep under there. Um, we have three drawers right here, and the first one of course is silverware. Uh, pretty simple. Um, the second drawer. This is all my spatulas and wooden spoons and such. This basic, I guess, a little junk, junk container. Feeders for my mixer, scissors, anyway, all kinds of stuff there. Keep my hot pads and my dish towels here. And down here, I keep all of my little storage containers, um, measuring cup. Uh, these are little, small little cutting board things that are easy to store away. Um, and these little containers pop out. So it conserves space. And then you just fold them back up, tuck them in there. Um, next is we have this little pull out thing for our canned foods. And it actually holds a lot. don't have a lot, so much in there right now. Um... And gives you a little extra, like, space to cook with or whatever. Um, under here, actually, is a lot of storage. Keep our trash. Um, of course, you can see all of my Ziploc bags and um, cleaning supplies. I just keep all those under there. Um, I usually have a towel here, so I don't use so many paper towels. But, um, this... Is our television, but neat thing is this comes out, and back here I have more storage. So, um, I put all the wires in a uh, cracker container, <laughs> just keep them contained. I usually keep coffee in this. Um, have a no slide thing under here, and this we just keep all of our spices and whatnot in there. And up top, just have more more storage. So neat little hidden space there. Um, here I usually keep food up top and um, our glasses and I just stuff some paper towels when they rattle between the glass ones but plastic we have a lot of plastic and they don't rattle so. Um, of course we have this is great. This is one of the little drying pads. I put it here. This is my little strainer. And it sits here while we're going down the road, too. That's the slide. Um, oven. Yeah, seven. Got a little basket back here to keep, you know, things that we use a lot so we're not having to go in and out behind the TV so much. Um, microwave. Self explanatory. Um, up here, I keep. Um, I keep more food. I keep snack items. Nothing much in here right now. Um, underneath the refrigerator, I have um, my stackable bowls, my frying pan. I have another collapsible um, colander. This is so 
way. So, this is nice. all these collapsible things are very nice to have. They even have a collapsible funnel. So. Um, under the stove, I have little pots and pans. These are actually pots and pans from Ikea. Um, they have handles, but I chose not to put the handles on them just because it was easier to store them. Like, well, we found this at Target because our toilet in our RV is really, really high, so it's uncomfortable <laughs> to sit on it. So we found the Squatty Potty. Everybody makes fun of these, but it works great here. And it just folds up, and you can stick it right behind the toilet. Um, another thing I liked about this RV when we were looking was it has this little pocket door. And then there's an interior door that um, you can close this and have the whole space with a shower on one side and the, the bathroom on the other. And then, of course, that opens up into the bedroom. And in here, I have a container beside the toilet, which is a Walmart canister. It's perfect with little shopping bags that you get from Target or Walmart or wherever. Um, tucks away good beside the toilet. And then I have an extension rod. Tension or extension, I'm not sure what you call it. But anyway, holds my flat iron and towels. And up top I have different size containers. Just whichever ones will fit and take up the whole space so I'm not wasting space. Like the one on your right contains um, medicine and it's clear but we can see what we have. The one on the left is uh, has a little taller size that holds bottles, like tall bottles, like sunscreen, alcohol, those extra toothbrushes, etc. On the right is more containers and just extra storage for our toiletries and hair products, etc. Um, the shower door was what we had a recall on that we had to take it back. Uh, something about it caught on fire or something, I don't know. Um, it's a good idea to travel with the handheld shower on the floor so that it doesn't fall off and break. Um, I just have this little container that has little holes in it and I sit it on the liner. That way it doesn't slide around. Um, this is one of those, uh, I guess it's like a water saving kind. Um, anyway, we never run out of hot water and we have showered right behind each other so that we would try to use up all the hot water and we still have it. I have another tension rod up top and I zip tied a, this to it and it holds shampoo and things and have little hooks up there to hold our sponges and I put that up there to dry but it usually stays on the floor when we're showering. This is the bedroom area. We have two drawers right here. Um, this one I keep um, ex extra things such as command hooks and um, light bulbs things like that, all the few coins for laundry, um, basically office supplies there. This one is just my personal one that I keep finger polish, hair things, jewelry, hair dryer in there. This is a TV that we just realized has a DVD player behind it, it took us a year. But behind here is more storage and I buy these little Container things at Walmart. This has just extra towels and things like that. I have another one up there that has the iron and things like that. I keep extra rugs up under here too, and that also helps that not to slide. Um, this is our closet, and I keep the little shoe rack here, and we share that because it's just the two of us now. We're kind of empty nesters and just clothes. And we have all these drawers under here. We have six of them for our clothes. Um, over here on top of the bed, I have um, little containers. This one, I labeled them. It says pillowcases. Um, this one is sheets. And this one is beach towels. Anyway, it's just things like that all the way through. We have these little side compartments. Um, and I keep like, my glasses and headphones and flashlight and things like that that we might possibly need. And that's it. I always keep an extra blanket on the, put the bag because I get home like it does it. What's so great about this is we have a, an extra bed up here from 
more sleeping. And also, back behind it is uh, more storage. And I keep things like, um, as you can see, extra pillows and blankets up there. Um, this is nice. You can just put like a little comforter out. And when my daughter comes, she usually sleeps up here. So, it's nice. Alright, so Chris has shown you the inside of the RV. I'm going to show you the outside. And on the passenger side, we have four different compartments down low. And this first compartment here is, is dedicated to the to the propane. That's the propane tank. I'm not really sure how many gallons it holds, but uh, that one is dedicated. That's all it'll do. All right, this next compartment, just like the others, we have clear containers. This one has our tablecloths in it. Uh, another clear container with all our little doodads. We have a fan, and up top here, it goes all the way through. We have a fold-out table. We have paddles for our kayaks. We have fishing poles, that kind of stuff that will go all the way through. All right, this compartment, uh, this is about the only container that's not clear, but you can look down in it. This is all our charcoal and that kind of stuff for grilling. Uh, this one is dedicated to nothing but electrical cords, you know, plugs, uh, power strips, that kind of thing. Uh, we have our beach tent, and up under all this is another table that it can be set up that it stands out for our portable grill and lanterns and that kind of thing to hang on. We also have our uh, life preservers for our kayak. Right, this back rear compartment has, it's nothing but chairs, but there's a lot of them in there. We have two lounge chairs and four other chairs, two of them are beach chairs, so it's totally dedicated to, for seating. Right, this last compartment on this side is a great feature to have. Uh, most of your time is spent outside anyway, so to have an outdoor TV for entertainment is wonderful. And this one has uh, all your batteries in it, easy accessibility to it, to, you know, in case something happened, it's easy to change them out. And uh, other things, have a few fuses in there that you can get to. Uh, so it just makes everything easy to get to on this. Okay, side. and this compartment is uh, totally dedicated to just the generator for the uh, Okay, unit. this compartment here is the one we keep all of our uh, hoses for our uh, sewage lines and that kind of thing. We also have an extra shoreline. Uh, I learned from experience the hard way. Uh, <laughs> I left it at home, so I had to purchase another one, so now we have two, which is a good thing. Uh, this is also the other side of the one on the opposite side of the RV that goes all the way through. So this has our fishing poles and that kind of stuff up high and tucked away. Okay, of course, this is the, the old dreaded compartment that does all your sewer connections and gray water. Uh, we have a box here full of uh, gloves that are ready to go, a pair per bag. So it's ready to go on that. It has your water pump in case it goes out so it's easy accessibility to have it changed out.